pretty loud. Jeez. That's beautiful. This is fully charged, by the way. And this is the 110 scale version of this uh, Aston Martin. Oh shoot! <laughs> Scratch. Look at that, whenever I turn the wheels, look how loud that sounds. Or listen to how loud it sounds. It's hard to let it rip in here because it's not much room to drive it. Looks beautiful though, look at that. Wow, why did I just do that? I don't know. Let's park it in here. And then come back out! What? Look at that interior, guys. So beautiful. Let's go unbox. Alright, let's go look at the unboxing of this 110 scale. Aston Martin DBS made by Rastar, or however you pronounce that. Now, um, this car actually made its first appearance in uh, James Bond's Casino Royale with Daniel Craig, and then it came back for uh, Quantum Solace, and it got wrecked in both of those uh, movies. Now, this was not made, this RC car was not made for uh, movie merchandise. Um, they actually have official James Bond RC cars made for it, but this is the biggest one that's made of the uh, the DBS, because this is 110 scale. It's very rare that I see a 110 scale made by Rastar. Rastar makes a lot of good RC cars in terms of uh, body detail and interior, um, but the, uh, the motor and all that internal equipment is very uh, toy grade, very uh, cheap feeling, but I do love Rastar's attention to exterior detail. Now, uh, this uh, car actually first came out in 2007, the actual car. But it's kind of cool because Casino Royale came out in 2006, so they got to show the uh, DBS a year before the car was actually uh, released to the, uh, to the public. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like inside. Aston Martin, Wings logo and model name DBS are trademarks owned Licensed or used by Acid Martin Lagonda Limited. So, uh, here's a look at the uh, batteries that I need. And it comes with this, so I can just charge that. And then I'll just slap in a uh, 9 volt for the uh, transmitter. Alright, let's go start with uh, this side here. It's just usually, yes, yeah, so there's some tape on top. I'll cut. There you go. To the side piece here. Alright, should be a bottom piece. There you go. So this should just slide right open. I love how whenever Rastar gets, whenever they make the RC cars, they're always officially licensed. And they get some really awesome detail. Because they're allowed to. Alright. By the way, this thing is really heavy. This RC car. I'm surprised. It's usually toy grade RCs are, aren't this heavy. Nothing in, there's nothing inside the box, just to let it be known for the records. For the RC historical records. Alright, so let's go look at the back and see how they secure this thing. We got two screws holding the uh, transmitter. And screws holding the remote. I'm glad because screws are easy to take out. Whereas those twitty things are really annoying. And this is probably the battery stuff. Let's go take out this box first. Okay, let's go make sure what is in here. All right, we got the uh, instructions for the uh, 110 scale RC Aston Martin DBS. Look at those instructions, this one little piece. Here is the rechargeable battery, which I'll start recharging soon. So I can uh, test drive it, which you've already seen. Because I always put the, put the test drive footage at the beginning of the videos. And here is the antenna for the transmitter, right there. 
So, let us put this on the ground so it's not in the way. All right, let's unscrew the screws. This is so much easier to take off than those freaking twisties. I hate those twisties so much. All right, that should be good for that. Now, typically, I don't really like modern modern cars, but uh, this DBS is quite beautiful, I think. Although, my favorite James Bond car is not this one. It's one of my favorites, though. But my very favorite James Bond car used in the movies is the, um, the DB10 that was Inspector. And that's another modern car. Now, the cool thing about the DB10 is it was made specifically and only for the James Bond movie Spectre because they never sold that car to the public. They only made, what, like 10 of those? And it was made exclusively for the movie. I love when cars are made just for a movie because it shows how unique it is and how iconic it is and when you see that car you're only gonna think of the movie all right let's go take out the remote before I take out the car I feel like the car should have the best the grand opening oh this one's smaller hold on be right back sorry about that got a smaller screwdriver because the other one was too big for the uh, these top screws. I'm trying to think of my favorite James Bond movie. That's kind of hard to pick my favorite James Bond movie. I loved Casino Royale. That was actually pretty awesome. I was a little worried when I saw what the new James Bond looked like, Daniel Craig. But after seeing it perform, I was very happy. Um, so I guess I like Casino Royale. I liked... Uh, well, From Russia with Love, that's a classic. Goldfinger's great. Moonraker was awesome. Man, it's hard to pick a favorite, to be honest. All right. So, remote. It feels very cheap. It's he 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 he. So, 40 megahertz frequency. And yeah, this takes the... Uh, a 9 volt battery, and I've got the uh, antenna, <coughs> which I took that out from the bottom. So yeah, against Rastar, it looks great, but man, this this quality, it just feels so cheap. But you know, I thank them for, for making this, at least, because no one else made this. Well, no, that's not true. Other people made this, but not a 110 scale version. Oh, now this feels nice. This feels really nice. Um, it's got some uh, some weight to it. What is this? This is nothing back here. There's nothing inside. It must have been made just for padding. All right, let's put this away. Don't need this anymore. Light, yeah. Okay, now you can see this side is taped across here. See that? It's taped all the way around. And that's because I believe these doors actually open. So let's take this tape off. I hope the doors aren't loose when I take this tape off. All right, that comes off. Okay. All right, let's just see how easy it is to open these doors. They swing open pretty easily. But I guess because of the speed of this car, it won't make a difference. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I, I wish there was a way to, tell, to close it shut and it latches on with like inside latch. All right, let's go. Ooh, it's a little dirty right here. Didn't know how that happened. They put this bad boy on the spinner. You can see it from all glorious directions here. So yeah, it's not my favorite James Bond car, but it's one of my favorites. 
it's beautiful. And of course, there is the, the classic uh, DP5 that Bond drove in uh, uh, Goldfinger, or was it from Russia with Love, or the both, forgot. That one's classic, but this one is extremely functional. It's super fast. Of course, I'm sure you would stick out like a sore thumb if you're on a top secret mission and you come off with a super expensive uh, car. So let me show you the interior. It needs to be seen. All right, so let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Got a little uh, back seat there, which I don't think people would actually go back there. I have a, I have an Eclipse where there is kind of a back seat, but <laughs> I don't recommend people going back there. But yeah, this door opens too on the passenger side. Oh, it's so beautiful. This. RC car. I'm, I'm impressed by the by the detail of this one ten scale RC. Oh, by the way, surprise! Made in China. Oh, great! So the car length measures. It's almost it's almost eighteen inches long. Very big. Wheelbase is about ten and a half inches. The width is. It's hard to tell from here. It's almost. Make six and a half inches, maybe six and fifth eighths inches. It's kind of hard to tell from the width here. Let's test the acceleration here. Left and right turn. So it's not a digital proportional steering or speed, but that's not bad. Look at that. So the headlights come on when you're driving. That's reverse. Reverse. See the, the tail lights coming on? Ooh, look at that. It kind of fades away. Now forward. Forward motion, the headlights come on. To be honest, I prefer that RC cars start giving you the option to leave your lights on and then turn them off. Not only turn on when you're driving forward or backwards. I kind of would rather not even put any headlights on if that's the case. But yeah, they should start putting the option where you just have a button on your transmitter, leave them on or off. Because I've seen RC cars that do that, even toy grade ones. In conclusion, my review, I love this RC car. The detail, the, the exterior detail, the, the interior detail, it is, it's unmatched. But again, the, the actual electronics and motor on this RC is really cheap. I hate that sound when I'm turning, it goes and I wish it had variable speed and steering or digital proportional speed and steering but that's, that's a lot to ask for in a toy grade I've seen a few toy grades actually implement that um, whatever, but this this detail is it's just unmatched, I, I love the detail on this Rostar, this is easily Rostar's best RC car ever made and it's one of the most beautiful RC cars I've ever seen. And if you're a James Bond fan, and even though this isn't a, uh, an official James Bond piece of merchandise, you really should get this if you can uh, find it still.